Welcome to a weird episode of Sunday Night Shooters. This is, um, we're not going to do a shooter recipe today. This will be probably the last flip cam for a little bit until I can get my melon liqueur. No, my Midori lookalike, my melon, yeah, my melon liqueur finished. Or at least get the colors and the dyes right. But, what I wanted to do now is just, people have had questions about how alcohol works with layering. And people think I'm a magician because I'm able to layer specific things sometimes. And... Other people have tried and things didn't work out so well, and I guess the trick here is let's, we're gonna we're gonna do a little bit of layering. Um, look, if you're looking for how to layer, what you want to do is I got a computer right here that has charts on it. You can Google for uh, specific gravity alcohol or specific gravity in vodka, specific gravity grenadine, um, and you'll usually find these charts. And these charts are gonna list out the known specific gravities for different types of spirits and other things like syrups and the specific gravity measurement is based on a neutral of one one would be water this is water right here just regular old water and anything heavier than water will be one point something everything lighter will be point something so for instance um, this water here being one that grenadine over here is uh, 1.2 so it's it's pretty heavy when you consider the fact that this Tito's vodka right here it comes in at about 0.94 or that's generic for, for vodka. Some vodkas are a little different. Um, rums come in at, uh, let's see, we got a 0.94 on rums, but we also have flavored rums, and those can be like 1.05. So now you're talking heavier than water. You went from lighter to heavier. It splits because there's the sugars and other things in there that aren't just alcohol. So alcohol being lighter than water, if you do the math, um, you're going to get something that's going to fall below or above. So you want to go in either direction. So to get the perfect layer, the further the specific gravity numbers are from each other, the, the more tight that layer is going to be, the more like perfect edge. If they're really close, they're going to blend together. They might fog up. They might just fall into one another. Uh, and brands can make a difference. So we'll, we'll start pouring this water in here. Um, so if you, if you have a brand like Sky Vodka, as opposed to a brand like Tito's or... Um, Absolute, Grey Goose, they all might have their own specific gravities that are probably going to be close to each other, but they're not going to be perfect because they're different brands. They're different com you know, companies doing their own thing. So I'm sure they want to get close to a specific gravity, 0.1 difference or 0.01 difference or 0.001 difference. It won't make a lot of difference, but considering if they can do it, so can liqueurs. And liqueurs will make a big difference. That, that could be the difference between a good layer and no layer at all. Um, so what we have here, you probably could see that, is water layered on top of grenadine. Showing water is one, grenadine is heavier, 1.2. So then what I want to do is, if I can find my vodka. Ooh, there we go. There's some vodka. Now vodka is funny because it's the same color as water. So it'll be tougher to see these layers. But they will still be present. Right now, my splashing is causing the vodka to dump into the water a little better. But it's push getting pushed back up. Now, how am I going to find that layer? How do I find the difference of where that vodka and where that water reside? Besides, if you look really close, you can see some waves. This is an experiment I haven't done yet. And I don't have, let's see if I can reuse one of these guys here. That's water. Dump that out. I'm going to try to make a second layer fall in between with UV vodka. This is UV blue vodka, raspberry flavored vodka. If my guess is right, it's going to weigh more than vodka. Will it weigh more than water? I have no idea. So I have no idea where this is going to fall. It could just gum up the works completely. Who knows? But I'm curious. It's definitely sinking. It's falling through to the very bottom and sitting on top somewhat. On top of the, the grenadine. So there's a small blue layer forming. And it's clouding up a lot of the other stuff around it. But it sits definitely, it's sitting under. It fell through all the layers. Um, and, it, and it fell right under to the bottom. 
Now on top of the vodka, we're going to layer this green stuff, I hope. And I was almost assured to get this one right. Because this, my friends, is absinthe. And absinthe is a crap ton O alcohol. All right, we got a little cut there. My, I ran out of space on my flip cam. Um, so what we have here now is a nice, clean, green layer right on top. And you can start to see the blue starts to fold in. There's white, and then there's this crazy rippling effect, which is, I think, the vodka being contaminated with the UV. Um, I don't know what can fit on top of, let's see. I can't think of something, what's a good spirit that will fit on top of vodka? Um, how about, I don't know, is there, we want it to fit on top of water, but below, where's my spoon? I don't really have a lot of room here, but I just want to mess around and see what happens when I do this. Nope. So. St. Germain Elderflower, which is good by the way, also sinks and starts to blend in with the UV. So you've got to really experiment and just keep dumping things on there to see what layers, use the ingredients you want with the colors you want to see where it can fall. And you can't even find the water in there anymore, it's just all blended in with things that have been close relative to, to water. Uh, but yet, still unchanged is your grenadine because it's so damn heavy that nothing can seem to penetrate it. You have to get a really thick syrup, and I don't know if I have any syrups here that are heavier than grenadine. But that's just a, a, a little idea on how things get layered. It's all about the specific gravities and understanding if water's one, anything lighter than that will go above, anything below goes falls down below it really far. And you want, for good layers, you want to make those specific gravities very far in difference. 0.2 difference is big. And if you want them to cloud up a little bit, maybe to get like a almost like a tequila sunrise effect, consider things that are closer. Stark colors or, or diff, big, big colors that are different from each other, but close in specific gravity so that they kind of cloud together and make a new color in between. Um, there's some ideas for layering. I guess that's all we got for you today. <laughs> I don't know what to do with this mess. It's good. It's disgusting. I think I'm going to pour that out. But that's what you get when you mess around. I'm your host, Derek Schomer, for a messed up flip cam, Sunday Night Shooters. We're teaching you how to make some crazy layers.